Hello everyone, and welcome to uh, this update video. I originally wasn't going to make this, but the problem has seemed to become very serious. And what I'm talking about is copyright claims. Mostly they, are be they have been false. There has been one... Well, the copyright claims have been false, but the content ID matches, the two that I have, they are real and I've taken care of those. I've basically allowed them to take that part of the video out or take the whole video down. And I've stopped the problem before it got too far, but then after I did that, someone went and flagged my videos for copyright. And the parts they flagged had no, none of the audio that they were saying was theirs. The parts that they flagged were just my voice and my voice only. Which, the nerve of somebody just to do this. I don't care if Nintendo does it because it's their music. They hired the composers to write the music for them so they could have the copyright to legally use it in their, uh, in their games. And I know I say it's under fair use, but even if it is under fair use, I still don't want to use it without their consent because that's just that's how I am but when somebody says that my voice belongs to them that's where I draw the line I'm I sent a counter notification to, to YouTube about this and I've not heard anything back but I specifically wrote that the part that they flagged had no audio it just had my voice and the worst part is this copyright claim isn't from Nintendo or Pony Canyon. Pony Canyon being the one who uses, who uh, published Miss Amano's music. You know, the, the ending song from Fatal Frame 2. If you uh, go back and look at that, you'll actually see that the audio is very distorted because they try to take out the music and kind of messed it up a little bit. So yeah, but those two, those were the content ID matches. That basically means nothing. It just basically means they're going to slap ads on those videos and monetize it for themselves, which I'm okay with. But the, the other three co uh, copyright strikes I got, the false ones, those are what I don't want. Those will take down my channel and possibly get me in trouble if if the person decides to actually do something about it, which they can't because it's completely and utterly false. But I, the worst part is I don't know who it, I can't track down the single person because they are using a collective ID. Basically meaning that they've made up these people or this one person has made up its own community and has reported my videos. And I've actually looked and the community that it mentions it's a bunch of fan sites. Basically, they're saying that I stole their their creative work, which is a lie because I do live commentary. I record right on the spot, and I can tell you that it's being recorded live, and it everything belongs to Nintendo and Sony and Tecmo and whatever other game I play. And Level Five can't forget Level Five. Oops. But what I'm saying is, if anything happens to this channel, I will just just go to my Twitter. Uh, I have a Twitter, it's Horrors, Horrors Rose LP. And I'll post what I'm doing there. Because if this channel goes down, I will be making a new one. And I will continue. I probably won't stay on the same projects, and I hope my account doesn't get banned because I have Dark Cloud on here and I, I, that's an LP I won't redo anytime soon. So yeah, just let's just hope these uh, false claims just get dropped immediately. And yeah. So I guess until uh, what's going up next? Spyro the Dragon? No. Yeah, Spyro's going up next because that's what I have to get rid of. And then I'll upload Ocarina of Time, but yeah, until then guys, I'll see you in Spire of the Dragon. See you guys then.